What's up you guys, After Show Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Supernatural. This is season 11, episode 6 and it's settled Our Little World, so let's get into it. Where are your parents? I don't have any parents. Sorry, um, are you okay? Do you want something? I want to be like you. Did you just age up again? You don't even look kind of the same. Your hair's shorter. Midnight snack. You told me to stop feeding on your demons. Well, I stopped feeding on demons. I thought I was clear. Going out there. You literally don't look the same. Me, it's too risky. I'm a growing girl. I need to eat. Actions have consequences around here, Mara. You've had the run of the court. You've seen what you've made of it. Believe me, this is going to hurt me way more than it hurts you. I'm sorry, my dear. You're grounded. You're strong, but you need to remember, I'm stronger. For now. I mean, I didn't like the, like, actress, or like, the previous version of her. I don't know why they're such a I just feel stupid, I know. But like, this one doesn't even kind of look the same. You know, we've been here since Monday and still haven't found another legit victim. Maybe Amara moved on or stopped feeding altogether. Well. Finding her victims is still the best shot we got at finding her. Not actually true. Oh, what, you think he's ready? He's had a pretty rough go of it lately. Which one of us hasn't? Seems insane to leave our one and only angel friend on the bench. Yeah. Stop writing him out of our episodes, writers. Thank you. Yes. How you doing, buddy? Well, I'm fine. Find anything on Metatron? Oh, nothing on Angel Radio. How long's it been since you left the bunker? Oh, why would I leave? I've got everything I need right here. Wait, is it... Are you watching Jenny Jones? It's a rerun. She's just about to announce the paternity results. You are the father. <laughs> Jenny, he's not ready to be a father. Okay, I, th I thought you were going with socially acceptable binge-watching. Uh, you know, The Wire, Game of Thrones. Yeah, well... Man ah, Game, Game of Thrones, own. though. Oh, rip. What's up? I was Detective Madsen. Remember our friend, Lynn? Uh, weird as hell, soulless, took the rap for all the murders, Lynn. He's dead. Why? What happened? What was the point in that? Cass! Cass! Don't do this. Okay, this isn't you, it's the spell. You can beat this! I will end you! No! Don't! <laughs> I won't let you walk out of this room. Mm, Marco got one of them last night. A Len Fletcher. Tell Marco to keep looking. The last thing I need is one of Amara's candy wrappers. All right. Grabbing to angels or hunters about what, who happened to them. All right, so it was you guys. The footage you're about to view is extremely graphic. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that graphic. There's heaps more graphic stuff on this show. Efforts were made to resuscitate the victim, but... Is this really a thing you can do? Hey, Metatron. Is this really a thing you can do with live television? Like, rewind it? <laughs> we can't do that here. <laughs> hey, officer. Still haven't gotten my phone call. Do you think I could get a pizza delivered in here? You're not the deputy. Nope. The boss's daughter has been making a mess in town, and it's my job to clean it up. Nothing personal. 
It's always personal when you're a ginger. Nice work, Goldie. So Crowley and Amara. What's Crowley doing with Amara? Don't know. Don't care. I wouldn't tell you if I did. Well, we already know she's growing up fast. Yeah, well, demon souls, they do a body good. Where's the Eidner? <laughs> I'm happy to keep gossiping with you boys, but you want actionable he looks intelligence? Like, he looks like the guy really cool. from Fired Up, kind of. I know you just kill me anyway. Well, it looks like a stalemate to me. I guess we'll go ahead and kill him right now. No, 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 do you wait. I mean, he's not. You can exercise him. What? Save his meat suit. Yeah, you guys could be my doing this cents? to a lot of people. You exercise me. Let me smoke on out of here. I give you my word not to tell Crowley. <laughs> hey, you heard me. He's hardly my favorite guy at the moment. I... Wait a second. Shut up. Look at that. There's no way a suit survived that wound. Mm -hmm. All right. Crap. How do you know? That could have just been a um cigarette or something. I don't know. Hey, hey, where'd you ditch the body? School playground. What do you got? Good news, I was able to hack his phone, got the coordinates of his call history. I guess Crowley must have had him tailing Amara or something, because he was at all three spots. He was at the Lizzie Borden house, where Len got his soul taken. He was at the bar, where Sydney got her soul taken. And he was here, where Goldie said Amara approached her. Hmm. So, somewhere in there. Yeah, maybe. But what I don't get is, why would Crowley have Amara on Earth in the first place? Wouldn't it be smarter to, to keep her in hell? Yeah, Isn't but then he'd have to spend more time there, and he hates that place. Hell? All right. What? Keep forgetting about you and Crowley's summer of love. Jervis! I can't have you eating whatever, whenever, however much you want. I thought you might appreciate a little snack. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Make up your mind, girl. Leave you to your you hungry? You hungry? You not hungry? Oh, this is good. Now, this is gonna fetch me 500 minimum. Mom. <laughs> I know that 500 sounds like plenty, but with my overhead, Daddy's gotta eat. <laughs> Oh, come on! Help! Please. I'm sorry, buddy. You live, there's no story. Mm, you know, well, there's always, like, it There was sword? a time. The dude that survived. I could have brought you back from the brink with a snap of my fingers. Well, whose fault is that? But you don't not have your house anymore. But I'm not that guy anymore. I can't save you. I can. What? Real life angel caught on tape? That is way better than some random homicide. <gasps> hey! Do you have any idea how much stuff I had to steal and then pawn to pay for that? <laughs> Marv, you're picking pockets, leaving a man to die. I, I, I don't know what I expected, but this is disappointing. One to talk. You chose the life of a wage slave, slinging Slurpees for what, a month? Hey, you I was great. at zero when you took my grace. So. Straight to business. You want the demon tablet? Well, you're not gonna get it. I have hidden it very carefully in a place where you and your friends- You hid it under your mattress. 
The TV station gave me your address, and I, I checked the place out. Awkward. Do you realize you have bed bugs? You broke into my apartment? What do you know about the darkness? The band? Okay. Uh, sometimes during late night writing sessions, when God was deep in his cups, he may have let slip a few choice words. But I don't have to tell you anything. Are you forgetting? <laughs> we were human now, and I could crush you like a bug. Could? But you won't. You think I didn't notice? You are broken, Castiel. You are always a bit of a Nancy, but this... You have gone full wuss. Now, I don't know what it was that happened, but whatever it was, you are scarred. Deep. Paralyzed by trauma, by fear. I mean, look at you. You can't even hit me. Hey. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. They can fucking hit you. It's not fear. Oh. That's my boy. Hey, idiot! Come to life. Spanish, but get your ass over here. What? You think I've been Sir? playing your astronomical bar tabs for the past five weeks so you can sleep past noon with last night's skank? Well, D. Yeah, I thought that that sounded weird. Sam, you know what? Go. Take her out. I got him. So this isn't hell. I was under the assumption that this was hell. I'm sorry, Amara. For what? What do I have to do? Hello, Dean. <laughs> My girl's grown up. She'd known it wouldn't be long before the boys came sniffing around. <sighs> What do you want with her, Crowley? I don't you know. Think you can use her, control her. You're an idiot. I'm not trying to control her. You are. I'm helping right her to realize her fullest potential. You know how disturbing it was to realize that I couldn't bring myself to kill you. I've had tons of chances over the years, some you don't even know about, but still. I made my peace with it. Embraced my softer side. Learned to accept there was just too much going on between you and I. Bromance. But you know what? I think I am going to kill you today. I disagree. I feel different somehow. Ready. What can I say? Fatherhood changes a man. <laughs> That looked weird. That looked like a fake arm. Well, I need to see that again. Hold on. That looked like a fake arm. That looked like the fakest arm I've ever seen. Promise to protect me, and then hours later, I'm assaulted in my own room. Oh, didn't seem terribly upset by it. It's not the point. I've decided I don't need your protection, and I certainly don't need your captivity. I'm done. <laughs> Sam, I'm so proud of you, my dude. You trying out some kind of no-kill policy? Remember when he would like always lose fights? Who do you have great. to thank like, for how angry great. you are? Yeah. How lost? <laughs> uh, 
hunter. You of all people should know. Pacifism doesn't pay. Ah, uh, stop it. Omnis and Mundus Spiritus. Omnis. Satanica. Protesta. Beating people up to the point of death. Dane! What's going on? What's going on? What was that? It's time. Time for you to bring your tired ass back to your throne and lick your wounds. I'll spare your life. On one condition. Safe passage for Dean. Out of here. After I'm gone. Yeah. Yes! Good. Now. Get out of my room. Tell me about the darkness. Tell me. What is happening here between us? Uh, you save me, I save you. Um, jailbait? Um, but you were the first thing I saw when I was freed, and it had been so long. Maybe that's it. My first experience of his creation. You can't help but represent that for me. The sweet triumph and the even sweeter folly of what he's wrought. There's no fighting it. I'm fascinated. The truth. <laughs> It'd make the Bible thumpers' heads explode. I mean, they want their God to be a uh, yeah, finger snapping, all powerful creator. They want magic. Mary Poppins. Of what he did? Creation? I, that took work. It took sacrifice. In order to create the world, God had to give up the only thing he'd ever known. He had to betray and sacrifice his only kin. The darkness. His sister. What? It's been great seeing you again, Dean, but it's time for me to go. There's a whole world out there for me to explore, and I can practically taste it. Soon, I'll be strong enough to do what I came here to do. What's that, that thing? Settle an old score. The oldest score. Don't hit Sammy, he will kill you. Look, Cass, I'm as glad as anyone that Stella got her groove back, okay? But you let Metatron go? Dean. How many times are you gonna repeat that question? I'm gonna say it again, you let Metatron go. He's not going anywhere. If he makes a move, if he draws the slightest attention, the full force of angel kind will snuff him out. Guys, bigger fish to fry here. Amara is in the wind. Yeah, God's freaking sister. You said you were close. Dean, how'd she get away? I'm sorry, what part of God's freaking sister did you not understand? She overpowered me, end of story. What's our plan here? Fellas, you said you got That's everything exactly you could right. out of Metatron, right? So where on earth are we going to find an answer on how to stop her? I don't suppose God's decided to share any wisdom on the matter. I'll look into the lore. Is that the 
okay? Like... The Cage? Alrighty, yeah, well that was Season 11, Episode 6 of Supernatural, titled Our Little World. Um, pretty decent episode. Uh, I like that it was story-based. It seems like everything so far has been quite story-based. I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. That's good. I'm so happy. Um... Don't like the new Amara actress. Don't like her. Because nothing like her. Um... Kind of fucking weird that they're making it out like there's some weird sexual tension going on with with her and Dean. Like, she's underage. I mean, I guess in a way she's not, but she's under underage. It's it's weird. Um, very weird. Um, we learnt some stuff about her. Um, that she's uh, apparently God's sister. Wonderful. I didn't know that God had a sister. Um, does that mean God has a mum? Or is it just the chicken and the egg scenario? Um, anyways. Yeah. Something about the cage as well, which is kind of interesting. Does that mean we're gonna see Lucifer again? We're gonna get to see, like, are we gonna finally, um, get Adam out of the cage? Cause that'd be nice. Uh, he's been in the cage since, like, season five, and I forgot about it until last season. Um, and apparently the boys did too. So, m maybe that's where we're headed. Maybe that was, like, a little tease under this season kind of thing, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, we'll just have to wait and see. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.